Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is July 21st of uh, 2018. It's 5.20 a.m. in the morning. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about my, a little bit of physically what's going on with me. Number two, I want to talk a little bit about politics. I know you don't want to hear it. And I may not be able to... Uh, talk that long anyway. Uh, first of all, about my physical condition. It's not getting any better. I don't know about my infected leg. I stopped taking the high-powered medication four days before I should. You're never uh, an antibiotic, especially something like that. You're always supposed to take it. Take, you know, all of it. Exactly. I just couldn't do it. Couldn't keep anything on. I couldn't keep anything on my stomach. I've, I've been sick, nauseated, and uh, diarrhea and everything for the entire six days I was in the hospital. And I'm not sure how many days I've been out of the hospital the ent entire time. Uh, Anyway, I'm still miss. I stopped taking the high powered because of just tearing my stomach up and my lower GI. I had to cancel my doctor's appointment because of dry heaves. So I scheduled a new doctor's appointment with my doctor for Monday. My uh, uh, Doctor's appointment, maybe the first time I've seen that doctor. The uh, doctor for the prostate and that type of stuff is August 7th. I'm going to see him. I think the doctor maybe uh, will try to speed that up to get me in there sooner. Uh, the lab works and everything there. Everybody's concerned. They were concerned in the hospital and uh, everybody's concerned about the uh, numbers for the uh, kidney results. Uh, I honestly don't think that I'm going to make it through this. This I'm 77 years old. This is not. This is not the way I wanted to go. This is not the way I want to go. I don't want to go going into a hospital, being catheterized again, uh, I just, going through all of the uh, if you think that was just a sip it was, I gotta be uh, I've been 240 pounds for a long time, I'm now 220 pounds like I said, I just don't think I'm going to make it. I, I don't want to make it this way. You know, I wanted to just have my family find me one day dead on my bed over there. So, anyway, let me go to politics. I want to talk about politics for some reason. Uh, I'm not going to go into all the details. You probably know the details as well as I do. What I wish would happen is what we need is two or three Republican senators to be courageous. Uh, they should read the book Profiles in Courage. What we need is, you know, even one would do it, but what, you know, if one or two Republican senators would just say this is crazy. I'm announcing that I'm switching over, that I'm going to vote Democratic. That would do it. Uh, you know, one, two, or three Republican senators could just say, you know, the Republicans, all the Republicans, they, well, they're so happy that they're getting a Supreme Court, another Supreme Court nominee, and, it, and it's just, oh, they're just so happy. Uh, 
remember Obama had what uh, a vacancy became available. Well, a vacancy became available, and the Republicans said, uh, "Eh, presidential elections are coming up in a year. We're not even going to look at your candidate. We're not even going to do any." Uh, background investigation, we're not going to do anything, we're just going to let whoever's elected, you know. And, uh, and of course, uh, Donald Trump was elected and he came in and appointed who he wanted to appoint. And what right now, because of, also because of Trump's, in order to rein him in a little bit, to, to knock on that head of his, if two or three Republican senators would just say, you know, get with the Democrats and say, hey, uh, we're not going to vote to approve anybody. Let's let's tell the president that uh, because of your past actions, because of the things you've said, we're, you know, along with the Democrats, we are not going to consider your uh, nomination until after the uh, election that's coming up here in 20, November of 2018. Uh, maybe if you turn yourself around, maybe if you stop being a child, maybe if you stop being stupid, uh, maybe we will change our minds and down the road a piece. But right now, you know, fuck you. You're not getting to pick the next nominee for the Supreme Court because, and they can they can list their causes because you've you know because of everything. <clears throat> now that would be you know those Republicans who did that probably would lose in their home states when they're when their election comes up. But that's something like that should be done, something to just uh, confront Donald Trump. Just say, and, and also then uh, they should just pass, I think they already did, I think they, I think they, the Senate, I believe they passed a, an agreement that uh, the president, uh, what is it that he cannot do? Tra is it tariffs or, I can't remember, but they need to pass a few more of those things and just say, you know, the, no, I think it was the things, the things on Russia. They need to just pass a few more things, say the president does not have the authority to uh, do such and such. And they ought to do that with the investigation you know, uh, they should pass a, you know, resolution stating it appears that, you know, high crime, that, that putting, using the words of impeachment, you know, it appears that high crimes and misdemeanor, misdemeanors may have occurred, but because of also the, uh, incompetence, uh, the lies, the deceit, the deception, the horrible statements made by the current President of the United States that, and uh, just lay out a few things and confront him. But that would take Republican senators to care more about the United States than they do about themselves. And none of them are going to do it. And right now they're all, unless things get really bad, which, which I think they are, but unless it gets really bad for the Republicans, the Republicans are going to stick with Donald Trump because of the elections that are coming up. You know, they want to be reelected, not just a senator, but congressmen too want to be reelected. And what we need are especially senators, men who have courage and uh, we don't have any, and who have uh, love of America first. And we haven't seen that yet, but 
Anyway, that's what I'd like to see, but it's not going to see. I, uh, I think I have to vomit. I'm going to uh, end this now.